This weekend, we are in the mountains of Asheville, North Carolina, staying in a unique Airbnb called the Paradise Pagoda in the Pines, where we explore our primitive accommodations, are greeted by the friendliest animals, and hit the town for the most delicious food in Asheville. We are Nikki and Hayden, the creators behind Journey More. If you haven't been following us recently, we set out to stay in some of the most unique Airbnbs in America and share our experience with you. We took a week to stay in five Airbnbs back to back. First was a 100 foot fire tower, then three unique tree houses, and now an open air pagoda. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our other incredible stays. We are staying in what is called a pagoda, and this is gonna be more of a camping experience. Very excited. If you don't already know, a pagoda refers to a multi-tiered tower with overhangs at the division of each story. These structures are common to China, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and other parts of Asia. Most pagodas are built to have a religious function, such as a temple or memorial for those who practice Hinduism, Buddhism, or Taoism. But this pagoda was built as an Airbnb inviting guests for a unique experience. I love it. It is so small. It's so small, it's so cute. This is so cool. Oh, other way. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, how cool is this? Okay, I wanna go upstairs. Up ladder. Up ladder. Up ladder, that's our That's new term. so funny, we always say upstairs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this kind of feels like a tree house too. I know. Now it's time for a full tour. So when you first get here, you'll park at the Pagoda parking sign and follow the trail all the way up to your Pagoda for the night, come on. So you'll notice that they have woven this wood into this beautiful structure. You'll come around to the front, so it's not a full door. They say if you wanna lock anything up, put it in your vehicle for the night, because they don't have locks, but they say it's a really safe place because all of this land is theirs. So when you come in here, you have a little couch area as well as a desk area, and then kind of all your essential needs over here. Some water bottles, water, coffee in a French press, trash can, books, towels, toilet paper, and a cool if you want to bring some ice. Then the stove top is primarily for heating up your water for your coffee in the morning because they don't really have fans for you to cook on, but you can bring that if you want to. And something to note down here is they don't really have any lights. They do provide some candles for you and a little light bulb, but if you want lights at night, you'll have to bring flashlights because again, it's more of a camping experience. Moving upstairs. They have in a bed. clean bed for you to sleep on. And they've got another candle back here and then a charging station for your phone that is run from little mini solar panels. And then above us is this glass ceiling so you can see the trees through it. Also, it is open. Like you can stick your hand out. <laughs> <laughs> so it is an open air structure so you get to be one with the nature while you're here. So we are super excited to stay here and experience this because this place is so cool. And we're also gonna show you the restroom, the showers, the fire pits. So let's go back down and we'll show you. Hi lady. Hello little guy. What are you doing? <laughs> Hanging out? So cute. The owner did say that they have some animals that roam the land, but all of them are nice so you can interact with them. So this little guy's gonna hang out with us while we're on our tour. So, heading this way, this is your fire pit area. You are among these massive pines when you look up. Back this way, we're gonna follow some arrows to the bathroom and shower. So this little outhouse is your restroom. You can come on in here and this is it. They have plenty of reading material for you <laughs> while you're in here. You just do your business and then cover it up with a scoop of sawdust or dirt or whatever they have in here. And that's how the bathroom works. And then past the bathroom is the shower. So on your way to the shower, you'll actually see a lot of different structures because they teach nature classes, agricultural things. And they've got a lot of structures for those other activities that they host here. And then this little building is your shower. However, there's a little <laughs> less private <laughs> than one might desire. So just you just gotta here. be free. 
you gotta be free. I think that pretty much does it. So we are actually gonna go eat somewhere here in Asheville. So we'll have a good spot to eat at if you come here to stay or somewhere in Asheville. So we are on our way to Sunny Point Cafe. It's about 22 minutes away from the pagoda. And the reason we're going to eat here is because when we stayed in the luxurious treehouse in Old Fort North Carolina, this was a place we stopped on the way home and it has a delicious chicken and waffles meal that we love so much that we're gonna go back and get it. chicken in between two waffles. It's got pimento cheese and a jalapeno jam and then bacon and maple syrup. It is so good. <laughs> These fries are amazing. And the ranch is so good. It's so good. One out of ten, what do you give it? Five hundred. Five hundred. <laughs> How do you feel after that? <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> back. We are. We've got our lights set up. <laughs> it's kind of a dark vibe, <laughs> shadow vibe, but very cool. What are we gonna do now with oh, this? Oh yeah. So we picked up some Oreos and some milk. We're gonna play some cards and eat some Oreos and milk. Starting for the night. Time for bed. So we've put up the bug net. It's kind of cool. It is so we're gonna cool. try to keep the bugs out and uh, have a good night's sleep. Yes. So. Good. Fell asleep to rain and woke up to birds chirping. So, yes. what more could you ask for? <clears throat> we were a little too friendly to the cat that we met yesterday. It found its home here for the night and slept with us as well as woke up with us this morning. <laughs> yes, probably the most cuddly cat I have ever, ever. met. Oh my gosh, all it wants is scratches and is purring like crazy. <laughs> Wild. take a shower yep. in the outdoor shower. <laughs> you don't have a cup, you just make do with what you got. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Also another spoon to make. <laughs> do a little finger mix. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to burn your finger. I don't know what else to do. Find a, find a stick or something. A stick? You want me to find a stick? You're pretty much drinking dirt anyway. <laughs> <laughs> They're beans. Oh, sorry. Beans. They come from the dirt. Food comes from dirt. Technically. We're being technical. We all eat dirt. Yeah, but food has flavor. Good flavor. It's not a coffee person. <laughs> yeah. It's not a new span. <laughs> we'll call this our coffee clip. Coffee clip. Oh wait. Wow. We might be onto something. I think we are. <laughs> You know, a very thoughtful touch to this place is this mirror. Some places like this are just not quite as thoughtful.
We are headed out of the Pagoda. The owners were kind enough to allow us to come see their other Airbnb, which is a vintage box truck that they've converted. So we're gonna go take a tour of it. Bye, Pagoda. Good time. <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> so this is the box truck. <laughs> what is it? What's it's George. In? Back here. So cute. Ooh, and it's like bouncing. Oh wow, it is. A lot That's bouncier than you would think. Yeah. And you can hear the running water of the little stream. Yeah, there's right a little there. stream right in front. Okay. This is so cute. It's like so much room in here. Wow. Got their little bed, kitchen stove top, French press, big sink. More kind of space. They even have a fridge here too. I think I think I like it because it's different. Me too. Feels more rustic, homey, cozy. Right. And then out here they have similar arrows to I think the same setup of bathroom and shower. So yes. Pretty neat. We're doing another local cuisine here that's close to the pagoda. It's actually right next to Sunny Point Cafe. There's a biscuit head here, only in Asheville. So uh, we're gonna try it out because we've never been. It's like as big as your head. <laughs> that's amazing. That's the best biscuit I've ever had. <laughs> that was quite amazing. The best biscuits we have ever had. By far. By far. We went to the Sunny Point Cafe last night. I think I would go here. Oh, 110%. Over that. As much as we love, we love that chicken sunny. and waffle yes. sandwich. It's so good. This, this is, is just, you can't beat it. It is special. It is, it is special. special. Everything was amazing. I had the pulled pork biscuit mm -hmm. that had jalapeno jam on it, pimento cheese, bacon, and a poached egg, and maple syrup. It was awesome. Well, I had the filthy animal is what it was <laughs> called. It had a fried chicken. It had this special gravy on it, bacon, scrambled eggs. It was the best. It was amazing. And then the biscuit donuts were awesome as well. You could definitely eat yourself sick. <laughs> Which maybe we did a little bit. Yeah, I think we did a little bit. <laughs> if you're in Asheville, this is a great place to come, Biscuit Head. We are now headed home from the Pagoda. We had a really good time with our unique stay, but definitely ready for our own bed. This has been quite an exhausting week. I know it is video after video. It seems like we are just having the time of our lives, which we are, yeah. but it's a lot of hard work mm -hmm. and we literally did not stop for like five days. <laughs> so we're ready to be home. If you're really interested in staying in this Pagoda, we'll leave a link to it in the description below mm -hmm. so that way you can get there, book your stay. We'll also link the box truck down as well. Mm -hmm. It's real close to the pagoda so if you need more sleeping arrangements you could book both mm -hmm. if you've got more people. We'd love for you to subscribe. We have new videos coming out every week. All things outdoor adventure mm -hmm. and amazing Airbnbs. Yeah. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, follow us along, and come journey more with us. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't recording. Just kidding. <laughs> if you are seeing this, turn around. These are stairs, not a ladder. I think that's a typo. <laughs> <laughs> they will also link the... Oh, oh, mm, mm, mm. Wow, that. Okay. Hello. Hello, puppy. Are you nice? <laughs> I'm not sure this is going to make it in the video. <laughs> Alright, right, ready? Should have gone before. Because now I got the Blah 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 blah. <laughs> we are now heading home. <laughs> I think I might have cheesed weird <laughs> before you or as you started. <laughs> okay. Ready? One, Yo. two, three.